I recently spoke with Jen Cotton about soft tissue ultrasound and how best to perform it. I mentioned to her that sometimes the traditional way to do water baths just doesn't work as well. Sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to get that image that you need. She told me that there is an alternative method that she came up with with Mike Pratt's when she was a resident. Check out the technique. It's pretty sweet. So the issue with a soft tissue ultrasound is that if you have the thing that you're looking at, so let's say the finger, super close to the probe, let's say up here, the image actually isn't going to look as well as if you have it all the way down here. Look at the difference. See how much brighter it gets when we move that area of interest a little bit lower right here much brighter, much easier to see than if we have it right up on the probe. The reason for that is that the linear transducers actually don't start seeing all that well until they're about, I don't know, 0.5 or so centimeters away from the transducer. So that is why it's so important to use a water bath when you're looking at superficial structures, such as the evaluation of soft tissue in the hand or the foot. Traditionally, what you do is you can just get a water bath. You just fill up these things right here. This acts as a standoff pad. You place the patient's hand in here and you look. But as you can see, what if I had an issue in my palm? It'd be impossible to look at it in the water bath. Now, this is a common issue that comes up in the emergency department. So if you look here in this picture, the traditional water bath often works, but it can be tricky if you're looking at different areas of the hand. That's maybe not the palm or the dorsal aspect of the hand. If you want to look on the lateral aspect of the fingers, it's impossible to do this, as you can see here. This picture is courtesy of Jen Cotton, who first told me about this technique, and Aaron Wenzel, who is pictured here. Now, what they suggest is using these things. These are used often to measure the urinary volume, and they are made out of a special material that actually is conducive to getting good ultrasound images. What's cool about it is you can just leave the transducer on the side and actually tell the patient to rotate their hand to get to the spot that you need to evaluate as you can see here. So especially when we're talking about the hand, it is significantly easier to use this technique. Now, I do not have a whole lot of experience doing this and would love to hear if any of you have used this and what your experience with it is.